<laughs> I guess so. Um, I think one of the ways that, or um, in talking to people, because I have to do, deal with ladies a lot of times uh, because of my ministry and what I do, the NGO, um, I've discovered that uh, our power is being used most times by the, um, those abuse, the abusers is um, something we call grooming. Right. Which um, Shivani explained, you know, they bring, they're taking these people, some is just, you don't even know it, it's very subtle. No, they just start, they gain your trust. They might do something that you like, accept you, stand up for you. And before you know it, they start grooming you. They start grooming you. So it's not something that just happens. Aside from the one where, you know, there's the power play, where there's the top, there's somebody at the top and there's somebody beneath. Okay. For those in the same level, what they do is they groom you. You don't even realize it until you are deeply in it and they've done what they want to do with you. But for the power difference, most times you are dependent on them. Is that you're working for them? You um, in an economy like ours, it's hard to it's hard to get a job. Okay, so when you get one, you don't want to lose it. So if your boss decides that he wants to have his way with you, it's it's going to be a tug of war because you don't want to lose your job, especially if you have. Uh, family depending on you mm. you know if you lose your job this like is affecting like 10 people okay so you are turning between fighting for your rights and just giving in to it so uh basically there's a power play either way either way wherever you find yourself there's a power play either way so i, I, I would agree with joseph that it's basically still a power play for the abusers and the abused this is um uh a turning into a fairly harrowing uh, discussion because I am clearly extraordinarily fortunate to live in the UK where you stand at least a small chance of being able to walk away but the examples Joseph said were of a student the examples that you say at Nike with a boss um, and having to have a job or having to pass a course, which removes the choice from people. So what we're saying then is that people are trying to exert power over others. So how do you what do you so Adenike, what's the first thing you notice or or what's the first thing you've noticed in your clients where they see this this grooming or this power play okay um sorry guys for, for, hello okay so for the grooming most times you meet people when you meet someone who has self-esteem issues one of the reason one of the causes is either somebody has groomed them so much that they do not know who they are anymore right okay, so they are who this person says they are so you meet this beautiful young lady and you're wondering why this lady does not believe in herself or this lady is always seeking for attention for somebody to praise her you know there's just this wanting another person to validate you when you meet someone like that you should um not everybody there are different kinds of abuse actually okay so almost every time you meet someone with low self-esteem there's always an out of abuse it might be from the parents okay i don't know how it works in your side you should see some parents the way they talk down on their children so you see children growing with very low self-esteem low self-esteem is like they have a school some don't even have any Okay, when you tell them they're stupid, they believe they're stupid and they keep saying it and they live like they're stupid. Okay, so most times it's, the first thing for me is that I notice that a lot of them have low self esteem. Mm -hmm. Whatever you tell them, they take it, they swallow it, they will not ask questions, they will not try to find out, they don't have a say about anything. Okay, so that I think that is a major point for me. Okay, okay, so FIFA, you've joined us again. 